morning, everyone. T speak at 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. So, guys, let's take a look at XRP. You see, we're still in the same exact trend, consolidating very nicely. And we're wondering why. Are we consolidating for the move up? As I suspect, I suspect, you know, I'm thinking we are going to push up to at least our double top. And it's the local double top. It's not guaranteed, but this is what my gut's telling me. Especially when I'm looking at the charts and looking at all the trends that have been going on recently in the crypto market and the market cap rising to $207 trillion now. You know, there's room for rises here before a fall. So I say we're going to have one, you know, it should have another pump before we crash. It really should. And the pump could be as little as, hey, we're going to come up to here, ride this 128 and come up to 135. But after that, it very easily could come down and create that big topping M. Or it'll ride this 135, come back down to 128 likely, and then come up to this 140 or 150, unless it pumps tops out of 135 and then uses 135 as uh, support. So there's a few things that can happen. But first, before we discuss this any further, take a moment, hit that like button or dislike button if you don't like the channel, because you should have a voice. Whether you like me or not, it is not up to me. But you have a choice two different ways. You can either like or dislike, but make sure to make your voice heard either way. I will not be offended, I assure you. You can also take a look in the video description and find my Swing Traders Anonymous. We're fastly approaching 400 subscribers in just about eight days. That's my second YouTube page. So if you're interested in swing trading, it's got some very valuable information. We do a new swing trade every day and it's all user generated. And then if you wanna check out my Twitter, that link's in the description. That'll help you circumvent not seeing me live or when my stuff comes out, you know, immediately on YouTube because they do a terrible job. Even if your bell notifications turn to all, which you should do, they do a terrible job of informing you when I go live. So download my Twitter. I immediately upload content to Twitter right when it becomes available on YouTube. So that is a nice way to circumvent the problem on YouTube. So that's what I think is going to happen with uh, XRP. It's definitely consolidated very nicely over the weekend. Now it could dump. That's the other thing, like I said before. You guys already know the numbers. We could dump all the way down to 93 cents. Well, I'll show you the logical number that if we were to dump and come under a dollar, our first bounce spot would be right here. So, but I think we still have a little bit more work to do before we're gonna just outright collapse. I look at a little bit of, you know, evidence. Like we said, we were showing DGB yesterday how it came around that M. So we're gonna see if they, they follow similar paths as DGB. So in DGB, like I said, it's, it's getting to that apex zone. It really is, but it's got room to grow if it wants to. It's just, this is starting to get to that top side. Seven, seven is gonna be some heavy resistance. And then 8.5 would be, I don't know if it can get past there, but you never know with market conditions, right? But for all intents and purposes, this made its move to 7.7. Seven, seven, so we'll see if it can keep going. And then XLM is still consolidating, but to me, it looks like XLM, XRP. They're going to do one of these guys. This is, it looks like it's going to come up like this. It really does. It consolidated very nicely. Every time it tries to dump, it holds. So I would expect nothing less than 40 cents. And then you look, you know, can we get somewhere up in here? Like, can we pop out ahead and finish up here? Possibly. But we can also come down to 28 cents. That's what you guys have to be aware of. Because it is going to be a harsh drop when we break this wedge. Or break this rising channel. And it's going to be a, a pretty steep drop to the downside. And a lot of people are going to be caught off guard. That's why I'll continue to put historical crash looms large once we reach the top of formations that's just the way it goes i don't make the rules t speak a 222 xrp future millionaire with the side bad on xlm and future digibyte og as stated previously the total market cap is up 1.16 trillion this morning up to 206 trillion which is up about 65 trillion in the last several weeks Tether's up two to, over $2 uh, a share in the last couple weeks as well. It was down to that 31.15 handle. 
and that made it very interesting for the crypto now i believe we're starting to get into overbought the rsis are starting to go way up you know the indicators are starting to say overbought doge has had a very nice consolidation and we're still on the doge breakout watch day number four yes i'm still in doge ladies and gentlemen you keep asking the longer that consolidation goes the better i'm feeling i'm up i bought another 200 dollars worth yesterday we got down to 31.4 31.5 area even though it's right around there it did dip down a little bit farther than it is now and now my cost average is it's getting close to being under 32 cents now so i'm very happy about what's going on i'm making a conscious effort I put the rest of my portfolio in here. There's like four or five hundred dollars left when I bought in because I wanted to see uh not even that much, like three or four hundred. And I wanted to see what would happen. And then I had a little bit of just a small little something left in DGB that I cashed out when it hit seven one. Had a it was cheap though. I had you know I had some shares from when it was three point two cents and finally or 3.7 cents, not a lot of them, a couple hundred dollars worth. That turned in, that doubled. Wish I would have had a couple thousand instead of a couple hundred, but hey, money is money. So also, before I leave, if you want to donate or join Tom's Army, that link is in the description. If you're asking me a bunch of questions in the comments, the single easiest way when you're trying to get me to give you content that I'm not providing, to get me to do something you want, be a member of Tom's Army or don't expect too much. Stay true, stay blessed. I'll be back when appropriate.